Okay, this is the direct proportion. Year 9 exam. Express 12, okay. 12 over 36. Calculate a city. Now that would be 1 straight in the calculator. That looks like a finding x question too, so I want x to the top. Oops. I'm going to multiply by whatever the number is under x. And I'm going to use my calculator. Whoops. Voice check. Fifty-six. Oh, the raffle ticket. We weren't expecting this. Okay, so it's a $20 raffle ticket. Tom. Tom is six bucks. So the key is to set it out like every time you've done this. Jerry. What do we do? We add them up. You can see I've actually given it to you. But that's okay, I'm a nice guy. Okay, so Tom gets six twentieths of the prize money, $5,000. Jerry gets 14 twentieths of the prize money. So that would be 1,500. And 3,500. And hopefully you recognize that you want to check your answer. Some of you can just see the answer, but please, it's okay, just use your calculator. Can you see that I'm apportioning the $5,000, so I'm checking my answer, just like we did in class. I don't know why I wrote that out. Okay. 350 kilometres in five hours. So kilometres per hour, I'm just dividing by this five to get to one hour. Yeah, so I'm dividing by five. So five divided by five is one hour. 350 divided by five... Yes, most of you can see that it's 70, but I'm using the calculator to show you that it's not really all that time sensitive. So it's 70 kilometres in one hour, and you'd write that as 70 kilometres per hour. Uh, this is a harder one, but remember, you don't need to get them all. You've got to give them a go, though. 87 metres, one second. I'm going to multiply by 60 to get to one minute. And then I'm going to multiply by 60 again to get to one hour. That's still metres, and I don't want metres per hour, I want kilometres per hour. There's my hour, but I've got to change that to kilometres. So that is actually 313.2 kilometres per hour. Three tennis balls. So if you've done enough of them, you're just going to go, wow, ripper, I love finding X. Uh, so we're thinking balls, money. Three balls. Eight balls, don't know. So that's our ratio equation. We want x to the top. Multiply by the eight. And eight balls. I'm putting that in the calculator because the eights cancel. 1.2 times eight. Divided by three, three dollars twenty.
There we go, six questions in SA. Okay, the area of the shape is directly proportional to the length of one of its sides. So many words, yes, but sometimes maths questions have it. But we're, we're looking for this directly proportional and we go, oh, that's the fishy. So I haven't even read the question and I know it's fishy. So what goes before the fishy? Area. What goes after the fishy? Length. I haven't even read the question and I know what's next. Okay, I've got to find K, so I'm searching for a hint. If the area is 8, when the side length is 2, the area, the area is 8, when the side length is 2. And I want to get the K by itself. Um... So we've got A equals 4L. Um, uh, da, da. Determine the area when its side length is increased to 5. So I'm going to increase that to 5. Area is 20. So there you go. Also state what shape the object is. Well, I don't know whether you can see it, but um, that's L. So area something times L. You, you've just got to have done your rules. I reckon that's, that just looks like the area of a rectangle. So it's going to be a rectangle where the width is 4, because it's a 4, isn't it? This K is 4. We know the width is 4, and the other side is 5. So when the other side is 5, what's the area? 4 times 5. Sometimes it's easier to see, but there you go, it's a rectangle. Some people see that easier than others. A taxi fare. Oh my gosh, that's a surprise. We're talking about a taxi fare. That's nowhere near our um, worksheets. You've never seen that before. Okay, so again, we've got the word directly proportional. So directly proportional. The fare is before. The distance is after. Seventeen kilometers, twelve dollars seventy five. So, K, okay. this is an A level question, so I don't need to see you working. You're just going to divide both sides by seventeen and zero point seven five F. There's my rule. From my rule, I can determine anything. It's crucial. Which is why the question asked for it. I didn't even read that, but I knew I needed it. Determine the rule. There you go. I've got the rule. Um, calculate how much her total fare will be. So, it's interesting. She was still 14 kilometres away. So this is why it's an A. We've got to think about this. How far in total does she need to travel? She's 17 kilometres into the journey and she still has 14 kilometres to go. So how far is her journey? Oh, look, it's an A question, so do it in your head. But just to make sure, we're using a calculator. Julie has a total distance of 31 kilometres. So my fare is just D equals 31. Calculate a city. There's her fare, 23.25. That's her total fare for the whole 31 kilometre journey. And that's it. 
problem solving. Okay, it's problem solving because we've got simple, simplifying, but we've got dollars and cents. So our first step, just like the worksheet, I'm going to go to 20 cents and 120 cents. And then I'm banging that into my calculator and getting an answer. One is to six. School has a boy to girl ratio. So let's just get the order. Boy to girl. So six is to seven is boy is to girl. If there are 288 boys, so over here I need boy is to girl. 288 boys, how many girls? So we've got to get that the order right. So it's worth just a little bit of working for that. And then it's just a ratio equation. Seven on six. Multiply both sides by 288. There is 336 uh, girls. There you go. It would be nice if you said there are 336 girls. But you know what? If you get the answer, I'm just happy that you got the right number there. Y is directly proportional to X. Oh, my gosh. You're looking at this game. This is another easy question. Directly proportional. Y is before. X is after. This one here, we are only looking, oh no, uh, we've got to find K, find the rule, and then get an answer, okay. Oh no, it's a bit different. The constant of proportionality is four. Well, K is the constant of proportionality. Hope you're listening in class. There you go. When the value of X is 20, What is the value of y? Oops. So all I'm doing is substitution. 4 times 20. Just use your calculator if you need to. Fuel and distance. Who would have thought that this would be in here? So fuel and the words directly proportional. Fuel, distance. Um, 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 um. Here we go, five litres of fuel. So five litres of fuel for 100 kilometres. So K, so F. Oh, look, you could simplify that. You can put it to a decimal. I really don't care. Um, okay. I've got to read what the question says. Find how far you can travel. That's not much fuel. So this is my fuel. Fuel is 6.35. Um, we want to... Let's write that differently. This is a WB question. That's how you're looking at it. So you're getting rid of this 100. It's a two-step equation from grade eight. So you get 5D equals 635 divided by five. Uh, 635. How far can you travel? 127 kilometres. It's nice, I guess, to put the units on. Whew. In fine conditions, a bus driver averages. So we know that that 80 is going to be important. In fine conditions. On a rainy day, he needs to go 20 kilometres less. So I'm happy just to write in there 60. 
Yep, so that's how fast he can drive on a rainy day. He's a safe bus driver. Good job, Mr. Bus Driver. On a rainy day, how much longer will it take to travel 213 kilometres? It's an eight question. This is a bit chunky. Love it. So our thought process there is, uh, why don't we just find out how far, it, how long it takes to travel 213 kilometres on a fine day and on a rainy day and the difference is going to be what we're looking for how much longer does it takes does it take the next thing is working out so I'm going to just delete some of that stuff here we go just to make it less confusing um, how do you how do you know what to do purely through doing lots of it, but that's a finding X ratio. So 80 kilometers per hour, so its distance is to time. It's 80 kilometers in one hour. 213 kilometers will take how many hours? X to the top. Now this is an A level, so we don't really um, need too much working. So 2.6625, that's how long it takes in the fine day. In the wet day, I should put an equal sign up there. just in case you didn't see it before. So they cancel, I didn't show you that line up there, but if you were doing this question, you don't need to put it in. Um, X equals, let's just put that X over the other side, 3.55. So it makes sense that he's a lot slower, doesn't it? What's the difference? Point five five uh, zero point eight eight seven five of an hour. So if you're getting that out, you need to be high fiving yourself, silly. But guess what? It's not quite over. How long are our maths lessons? Are they 0 0.8875 of an hour? Or well, how long is lunch? You don't talk in decimals like that. So it's less than an hour, so I need to convert that to minutes. So what you're thinking of is 0 0.8875 of one hour. Of isn't a word. It's a symbol. Do we know that we're not going to get one hour? So I don't want a one there. One hour is 60. And I'm going to put that in the calculator and see how many minutes. Point. It's 53 and... 0 0.25 0 0.25 I don't know that an A level student would talk about a time like that it's it's not 53.25 minutes it's I want this in seconds so it's actually 53 minutes 0.25 is a quarter so it's 53 minutes and a quarter of a minute. A quarter of a minute is 15. 53 minutes, 15 seconds. Okay, so see this last bit? That's like the cream on the top. It's good to get.
But man, if you got anywhere close to that, you are doing fantastically well. That's a nice, chunky A-level question. Hope you enjoyed that. I found it very enjoyable.